Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, hi, welcome, I'm Benita. You made a smart decision by clicking on this video. <laughs> Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up before you even get into the meat of what I'm gonna talk about in this video. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I'm trying to hide my hands because these nails are just atrocious. This hand is all right, so we gonna, we gonna thug it out like this today. When I was in college, I went on this whole like natural body cleanse journey and I tried all natural products, natural deodorant, natural um, cocoa butter for my body, natural products for my hair because I went natural and all that. So like I was just on this whole journey and it really, really like improved my body. So I'm going to share my tips on how I got my down there area to be baby smooth, soft, razor, bump free, bad bitch. Disclaimer, 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 this is not my picture, it's not my cooter cat in the thumbnail video, so please don't think you've seen Bonita's passe. No, you have not. <laughs> it is not me, okay? Actually, I do want to give a shout out to who, um, whose page I got it from. I was scrolling down my timeline, this girl, her Instagram is at touched by Tish and um, she basically does waxes and if she was in my area, I would be a regular for her because girl, she literally sprinkles on whatever she does to these girls and they're cooter cats they're they're freaking perfection if only i was in that area girl i would come see i would be a regular we would you and my we would be best friends the reason i did choose this picture is because it's an accurate close depiction of how my my little girl down there is looking so i was like shit is that you is that you like was that me i ain't gonna put my goodies out there you know i felt like it'd be too much for you too but let's get on with the process so you're asking how how did i achieve my vagina to be smooth silky without before i even started getting waxes because i just recently like literally just recently started getting waxes how did i turn my little girl into a, a full-grown woman and i remember i was telling my cousins this i was trying to get them hip because we go on on a lot of trips together and um you know we wear them high cut or at least i wear them high cut bikinis and they're like damn like you don't have no marks on your vagina and i'm like nah like what's my secret electric shaver that changed her life like I think their their minds equated it to you know how the guys when guys are getting shape ups or whatever haircuts they use like their barber uses the electric shaver I think they were thinking about that like no we have our own electric shavers it's nice cute it this one the head like moves a little bit so it can get to the cracks of what you need to get to got it from Target or CVS one of those this is the box that came in two when I tell you guys the key to having razor bump free vagina is exfoliation. <laughs> Are you listening? Can you hear me? Exfoliation, exfoliate. I know this product is a little bit controversial to some people, but for me, stay nice has always worked for my face, for my body. The same thing that I used to exfoliate my face, I used to exfoliate her down there and it works for me. I used to use the even and bright one. Um, this is the last one that I had left. It's almost gone. I need to go get some more. But the next one I'm going to get is the Even and Bright St. Ives Scrub. I love that one. It smells good. And I just feel like it really made a difference. So once this one is finished, I'm going back to that one. But you need to exfoliate. That's the key to getting your vagina right. After you shave and exfoliate while you're in the shower, once you get out the shower, you're going to need to tone. I'm past either aloe vera i like to use it something a little bit like stronger so aloe vera i use this for my face but i don't really use it for down there but you can what i like to use is the big dogs i like to use hydrogen peroxide or you can use alcohol because you know i feel like after guys get their hair their um heads shaved after guys get like shape ups or whatever haircuts don't the barbers like put on alcohol something on their head that makes it stink i don't know what that is but you can use alcohol too down there like i'm pretty sure that will work i haven't tried it but I'm using freaking hydrogen peroxide like I almost forgot the last thing that I do use is this bottle right here it's lemon that's in here I actually squeeze lemon in here because lemon is a natural lightener so I will also use the cotton pad like after I'm done all those things I spray lemon onto one of the cotton pads and I also go over it next <laughs> Cocoa butter. I literally love cocoa butter so much. I use it for everything. My face, my body, down there. Like, it just works wonders for everywhere. So, that's what I... I also recently started getting Brazilian waxes. And I can say, oh my god. First of all, you need to make sure you do all this step before you even go there. You don't need to get all the hairs out. But you need to get as much hair 
down as you can because once you go there it's just like getting your eyebrows waxed like that shit hurts like i'm not gonna sugarcoat it it hurts but afterwards you feel so good so clean and then when you come home and you do all these steps that i'm telling you minus the of course shaving part girl when i tell you your vagina will literally start oh, 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 oh. singing and shit to you like trust me all these tips work wonders if you want your vagina to look like how this picture looks follow these steps go to somebody good who knows how to do good brazilian waxes who's not gonna mess up your skin and trust me you're gonna be bikini ready by summertime thanks for watching this video i'll see you in my next one bye